Hi everyone! If you want to know how to lighten your armpits naturally, keep on watching. So I think that this is a very common problem that we all have or almost all have but don't know what to do with it. I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to prevent dark armpits and how to lighten them. This is what I've been doing for the past couple of weeks, I would say about a month and a half and I really have seen a lot of results so far and will only get better. So first things first, I'm going to explain to you what my regimen is. First and foremost is cleansing. You really want to have clean armpits without any clogged pores or residue or anything like that whatsoever. And the thing that I do before going to bed is cleaning them and actually also in the morning. The way that I do it is not only underneath the shower but I also use micellar water. Um, this is one is from Garnier, I also use it for my face and I now also use it for my armpits. Just use a cotton pad and I um, put some product on it and go across my armpits just to make sure that all the residue of my deodorant is gone. When that is done, or when I just got out of the shower and that is done, you start using a deodorant. And the first thing that you really need to look at is that you have a deodorant with very minimal ingredients. I used to use Dove, at the stick form. I loved it, I still love it, but it's not good for my skin. There are so many chemicals and stuff in it that it just isn't good for your skin, it clogs your pores, it actually makes the darkness get even worse, it will get darker because of it and your skin won't have any time or product or ingredients to heal. So I have two suggestions, one that I started with and one that I'm using right now that I absolutely love and I first started using um, Neutral. I have no idea if they sell this in the US, but you can find something similar, just a very neutral deodorant, doesn't even have a smell, um, it also says 0% uh, parabens, 0% colorants, 0% perfume. It's especially designed for the sensitive skin. Please find something that says that and then look at the ingredients list and I can show you the ingredients. It is aqua, aluminium chlorohydrate, glycerin, and hydroxyacetylcholine. Well, at least one, two, three, four ingredients. So this deodorant only contains four ingredients. And when I get my Dove, wait, I still have one, so I'm gonna get it. Let me see the Dove one. One, two, three, four. Twenty-eight ingredients. I don't even know what's in it. So throw that one away. Get yourself a neutral one. The only down part with these kind of deodorants that I have to say is that you do have to reapply like every two to three hours. I, the new deodorant that I'm using right now has got sent to me and it's from Love Myself Organics and it is this one, the Forever deodorant. And it is completely organic. It has only natural ingredients and to be honest, it really, really works. I got sent the lavender scent and the ingredients that are in here are just so good. Let me let me tell you guys. Organic unrefined coconut oil, 100% pure cocoa butter, arrowroot powder, baking soda, uh, vegan candelilla wax, and essential oil blend. And the essential oil is lavender in this case. It looks like this. And it's just extremely moisturizing. A little goes a long way. It has a good scent. Um, the lavender one is the most sold one. So I'm very happy that I have this one. I have two of these, still my first one. And this is the, the deodorant that I go to for right now. And it really makes sure that you don't have any sweaty armpits. Amazing. 
If you want to know where to purchase, I will put a link down below so you can find it because this one isn't available in stores but you can find it online. I exfoliate twice a week and right now I'm using a product that's actually for my work and it's only available in the Netherlands but I'm just going to show you this because it is a favorite. It's the Soul Scrub from Believe. And this is a scrub that is especially designed for the wax skin, so the skin that you have treated with. <coughs> so the skin that is previously waxed. You can compare the armpits to your to the skin on your face. You can compare the skin of your armpits to the skin on your face. It's very thin and delicate and a sugar scrub is way too rough for that skin. So please girls, stop doing that. Please. The only thing that is okay to use is a very fine sugar, so the extra fine one. If you can't find this scrub or you don't live in the Netherlands, uh, you could use a face scrub. That's a very good uh, second choice when it comes to these things. Face scrubs are very delicate and also very um, soft on the skin, but they also get rid of the dead skin cells. Then, moisture. Every time you get rid of a deodorant or a scrub, you want to reapply or and fill it with moisture. Your skin really needs that to heal. And the most favorite thing that I'm using right now is vitamin E oil. Yeah, I'm sorry it's in Dutch, but it's vitamin E oil specially made for the skin. It has a lot of good ingredients that help heal the skin prevent the dryness and really help rejuvenate and improve the texture and helps repair the skin. So I use that actually before going to sleep and while I'm sleeping I'm not using any deodorant. This was kind of weird at first because I'm really someone who is like okay deodorant here, deodorant, okay ciao deodorant, go, everywhere deodorant, no. You really need to let your skin breathe and heal. And that's it. Three simple steps that everyone can do. Cleanse, so clean, exfoliate, moisturize. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye!